Hey everyone, this is Ben Pierce from Urban Vinyl Daily's Weekly Wrap-Up, and I'm here with the infamous, legendary, Crayola. Sure, Crayola, yeah. <laughs> Great Crayola, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, how's Decon for you so far? Uh, it's awesome. Um, I haven't got to walk the entire floor yet, which I'm anxious to do. Uh, it seems like I always get in here, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna run over here, I see some friends, I start mm -hmm. talking to them, oh, I see some friends over here, they're like, oh, gotta get to your booth. So, mm -hmm. I plan on being able to take the entire thing in, you know, right after mm -hmm. we finish up over here today at like four or five o'clock, yeah. I'm gonna walk the whole floor. But everything I've seen so far is awesome, like always. Yeah, so, so as we look around your booth, obviously we're in, we're filming from Crayola's booth, the I'm Scared booth. So, there's new stabby prints. There's new stabby prints. We made some posters this year. Oh. I wanted people to be able to, to get a mm -hmm. stabby poster. So I did a barbershop poster for all my barber friends. And then a stabby bat poster, which mm -hmm. is kind of based off the old Silly Symphony mm -hmm. cartoons. So that's kind of where... Yeah, like, I can old, see that. Yeah, the old inspiration for stabby is off old Disney, old turn of the century cartoons. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so while we're in the I'm Scared booth, obviously that was debuted recently that's to right. Critical Fanfare. That's right. So. Tell us about that labor of love that went into making it for all those years. We started making I'm Scared the Movie, gosh, probably well over two years ago. Mm -hmm. We did a Kickstarter, which uh, was successful, and I was blessed to be able to work with my, my, my buddy Dan Levy and our, our director Pete Levin, who's amazing, and they made this idea. It was a, a little story me and my son made up every night before he went to bed. We'd make up things he should be scared of before he goes to bed just to not be scared of them, and we'd rhyme them. And, uh, we rewrote it and made it into the movie, mm -hmm. and it's little, the little boy Ralph, who is dressed as the White Knight, which is one of my characters, giving his little brother bad advice about things he should be scared of every single night. Wow. So, and it's kind of worked its way into our life and our family. I have two boys, and my older brother gives bad advice to his little brother <laughs> all the time, so it's perfect. So it's based off those, yeah. two, those two kids. So now they can always say, they can never get mad at me. They can never say, Dad, you don't love us. I'll say, dude, I made a cartoon for you guys, a stop motion yeah, cartoon. Yeah, stop motion. The hardest type of cartoon. Mm -hmm. So you kids better not, you know, cry or not eat your vegetables. So, so through all this, you got to work with a Mr. Mark Hoppus. Yes, yeah, Mark is awesome. He, I, I've known him for a little bit. And um, when the, the topic came up of uh, scoring the film, mm -hmm. we brought it up to him and we were, very excited that he said yes and he worked on the project with us so we're super honored to have him on the project so for uh the certain musical instrument that he plays on stage the bass the bass yes uh so did you approach him or did he approach you about oh, to those... paint that bass mm -hmm. uh the bass um was a surprise for him um it was between his wife his guitar tech and myself and then his friend dylan they're like, they said we want to do this guitar i'm like just give me the guitar body. Mm -hmm. I'll paint the guitar. I'd love to paint the guitar. Because I'd done one for charity for them mm -hmm. previously, and he really yeah. liked it, I heard. And then they brought that up. I'm like, how about I just paint the guitar? We'll do it as a surprise. And I was on his podcast, <laughs> and we brought it out as a surprise during the middle of the podcast. He had no idea. So his face, getting to see his face right there on the moment when we broke the bass out, he was speechless. It was really an awesome moment. And it was fun watching their whole tour through Instagram mm -hmm. and stuff, seeing him play the bass mm -hmm. like you know at every single show. And we went to the, one of the last shows in LA. Sure enough, you brought out the bass. Mm -hmm. Made me excited. Yeah. It's, it's happy to, I was happy to see it on there. So we call it the Marktopus, because it's oh, an yeah. octopus with yeah. like bees on it and mm -hmm. stuff like that, because he's a beekeeper also. Mm -hmm. so. so how's Mark in real life? I know we, get, we catch his persona on stage and in, on video, but How's Mark in real life? Uh, obviously, he's honestly the most down-to-earth, nicest guy you'll ever meet. And I'm mm -hmm. not just saying that, like, like he's nice to everybody. Like, he's mm -hmm. just a really good dude. Yeah. So, and I, I could honestly say that. I, I couldn't say, he's the nicest, one of the nicest mm -hmm. guys I've met, so yeah. Especially in that industry, in the music mm -hmm. industry, it's like, people say, don't meet your idols, don't meet, like, mm -hmm. you know, people like that. But, man, he's so down-to-earth, he's such a nice dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, looping around to an octopus, Okay. Silent Stage has a very, very detailed piece. Yes. Two colorways so far. That's right. So, Beyond the Sea, how did, like, how was that to get your, your, your major line work into the 3D realm? So, it was, um, it was a, a goal that Paul wanted to do, is see one of my paintings actually become the painting mm -hmm. as a sculpture, not just like, well, we got to alter it so it'll work, you know, since we did it with resin, it could hold up mm -hmm. like all the different weights and stuff like that. And um, they nailed it. They got every detail of that painting into that piece, mm -hmm. which I was just floored seeing it mm -hmm. come together. Uh, they got the the pen, the, the Triton, yep. the WAI Triton mm -hmm. that he's holding, everything. It, it was just really great to see. Uh, mm -hmm. I trusted the right people for that. <laughs> Paul's amazing, so Soundstage makes great work. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, super stoked on that. Yeah, which I guess you have an unveiling of it pretty soon at 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock? It's at 2 o'clock? That's what she said, I thought. Oh, may I, uh, probably. Yeah, I get lost <laughs> on everything. 
That's why you have a good handler. That's right. My wife makes everything run. Like, I don't know anything. She, she makes this thing work. So something else you have your hands in is the To, to Die For clothing line that's DIY here and made at DesignerCon. So uh, To Die For actually, um, like, I'm lucky to know those guys. Those guys have been producing the My I'm Scared stuff for years. Um, I met them years ago through graffiti, uh, doing graffiti with uh, Josh from Basher's Crew. Okay. And I'm a part of Basher's Crew. And um, all of a sudden they're like, hey, why don't you do a couple of designs for To Die For? And we established a really good relationship a long time ago. We've been working with them ever since. Jason's the best guy. Mm -hmm. Well, we've traveled together. Um, he helps with everything that we do. He's part of our business at I'm Scared as well. Like yeah. him and Jen pretty much run the I'm Scared mm -hmm. business stuff. And then now we have Dan on the movie side of things doing the I'm Scared mm -hmm. stuff. So we've got a good team. Yeah. Really good team. And it gives people a good memento for a shirt that's screen printed on site, that's not right. mass they're, produced. They're printing these on site. So like every there's a lot of good artists to choose from and mm -hmm. people can get a, a rad shirt printed mm -hmm. on site. Jason's really good at doing that, making a good quality shirt. Yeah. So yeah. So outside of the decon stuff you have going on, is there anything that people should be on the lookout for in the future? Gosh, I know. Like, well, we just the movie. I'm scared. The movie is available with the the children's book that mm -hmm. comes with it right now, which is, you know, if people want to see the movie, they can mm -hmm. get the, the the children's book mm -hmm. portion. And I can't wait for that movie to be out for everybody yeah. to see. Uh, but uh, working on my next solo oh. show right now, working on the next book, and then there's a uh, my friend Jordan Ahern has put together a documentary on okay. me, which is coming out in the near future as okay. well. So, and the CBS Graffiti Crew documentary oh. drops in mm. December, which is going to be insane. Where can people buy the children's book, or is it not out yet? Um, it'll be available online. It's available here today okay. and this weekend, and it'll be available online as well. Okay. So. so, thank you, Crayola, and thank you, everyone, for tuning in as we visit Crayola at his I'm Scared booth, and we talked about pieces from his I'm Scared booth, and also his Beyond the Sea that you had better check out either in person or somehow at Silent Stage. That's right. So thank you for tuning in to the weekend wrap up here with Crayola. Any parting words? Um, thank you very much for everything, everybody. Um, it's everybody makes this stuff possible for us. So we're very thankful. Cool. Thanks, okay. Ben. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, this is Travis Likens from Token Nerd Podcast, and I'm here today to tell you something about sponsorship. That's right, Token Nerd now has a sponsor. The fine folks at TenaciousToys.com, your source for designer toys, pop vinyl, original art, and more, are now our sponsor. And guess what? As a part of that, you can get 10% off your next order at TenaciousToys.com by entering the code TOKEN10 at checkout. That's right, 10% off. And not only are they giving you this code, they're also going to be sponsoring many of our token nerd giveaways in the next coming months. So make sure to follow us at token underscore nerd on Instagram to catch our latest giveaways.